Okay, we're leaving the station. It's, uh, what is it, 2 o'clock? Uh, 2.41 a.m. Going up to the highest mountain in Germany, the so-called Zugspitze. It's uh, 10,000 feet tall. We're starting out at 4,000 feet. Uh, there is a maximum of uh, 100 people in the cabin. Right now we're only about a dozen. Uh, we've got a wonderful panoramic view of the Tyrolean mountains. Uh, here is Sissy. It's all a little eerie. And uh, we're going up at a speed of about 25 uh, feet per second. It's an awesome uh, panoramic view. It is a little scary, I have to admit. There's three steel cables, as you can tell. And uh, we're slowly moving uh, up. There's only two pillars, as far as I could count, uh, from uh, the ground at 4,000 feet up to 10,000 feet. So it's an amazing architectural feat. The ground is about 100 meters or about uh, 300 feet below us. Uh, we're moving along above the tree line very slowly and uh, we're reaching up that precipice coming up here. It's a gorgeous day, not a cloud in the sky to be seen. This is why we decided on the spur of the moment to do this kind of thing. Uh, we're approaching the first pillar which uh, probably is around 6,000 feet above sea level, I would imagine. And uh, uh, it's uh, quite a view, to say the least. Um, I am clinging to the camera, so I won't have to look down, I can tell you. It's, uh, it's a little scary. Anyway, Sissy, what do you think? What do you think, Sissy? What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can hear the wind howling right now. <laughs> And uh, it's, it's really something, boy. Okay, we got the first swing effect. Bis zu welcher Windgeschwindigkeit könnt ihr fahren? Boy, they can go up to 130 kilometers per hour, wind speed. No, they don't do more than 60 miles per hour. When the wind speed is more than 60, they stop it. So uh, that's pretty fast. That's, that's, and here is the other cabin coming downhill. Boy, if you look down here, it is not a pleasant view. It is more than scary. It's uh, absolutely incredible how they did this, how they built it. I, it's, just, it's just unbelievable. Now first, okay. Uh, I, I feel I feel Sissy's hand on my back, just a little bit, just a little bit, and. Uh, it, there is what? 
There's a lake down there, right? Looks like a lagoon in the Caribbean. And this is actually the red pillars are the um, are from the German side. There are two funiculars, one coming from the Austrian side, the other from the German side. They end up at the same place. Uh, the Austrian is about 15 euro less expensive per trip to go up uh, than the German one. So um, there we are. B below me is a field of snow and uh, we're going right up there towards the uh, towards the, uh, the 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 mountain station, which again is up around 10,000 feet above sea level, and the sky looks quite a bit bluer up here than it was uh, down in the valley. Uh, it's a little misty from what I can see by just looking sideways. Uh, the visibility is up to a hundred kilometers uh, on bad days and 120 on good days, so they say. Uh, we'll find out if it is true. Uh, once we're up there, there is a platform and uh, that's where you can take some good shots from. Okay, I'm still recording. We're slowly approaching uh, the uh, top of the mountain, Germany's tallest mountain at 2,960 meters and we're just about 10 meters short of the peak. Uh, right now you have uh, meteorological stations there, the Max Planck Institute has um, a base up there, no private homes, I think there is a, an amateur radio repeater located up on top, so um, we'll find out how things go once we're up there, we're just, uh, just a few feet above the rocks here. And that must have been the trip lasting about 10 minutes going up to the top of the Zugspitze, the tallest mountain in Germany, right on the Austrian-German border. A few more yards to go. This is the last support before the station. Which way? Well, it's a, it's a, it's an attack on our stomach, on our belly. I can assure you that. Here we got some snow fields. It's uh, the month of June, the 24th of June, I guess, 2008, and we are approaching. Are there snowflakes? Snowfields. Snowfields all over the place. Well, thank you for staying with us during the trip. We hope you've enjoyed the ride. What an adventure this was. We'll take one look back down. Okay. Here we go. Zugspitze. <laughs>